Hey, welcome back to the Secret Underground Lair. So I have a piece of maple here, some hard maple, out of which I'm going to cut a one half by one half inch uh, piece of square stock that I'm going to use uh, as my raw material for cutting these little dovetail mortises in our Julia, in our uh, uh, demi loon table. So that's our project for today. Wind up cutting something like that, and that, that it fit into a dovetail on either side of a piece. That's our job for today. So the kind of little uh, dovetails, I 3D printed this little vise which I intended, uh, I intended to clamp onto the top of the arcs table. When it occurred to me this morning, after having printed this out, and quite frankly, I'm kind of happy with that print. Anyway, as it turns out, I have a vise, a little drill press vise. So I have mounted that onto the top of the arcs table, and I intend to put my little half inch blank in here. I've also attached my uh, you know, circumference holder, for want of a better term, uh, to the arcs, and I have measured out a few critical degrees. I got a 45 degree, 22 and a half degree, and a 15 degree, which is the angle used on a dovetail joint. At least that's what I understand. So I'm going to do a couple little uh, test blanks and see what we get. So I'll take the half inch blank that we cut out of the maple, put it into the vise here, and ensure then that the router bit is going halfway down that blank and just touching the top of it. Topping the, uh, I want the uh, edge of the blank to be at the surface. Um, Anyway, you'll see as we cut that. So let me go get that blank ready. All right, I have the piece set up in the, uh, in the arcs, in the vise. The bit is gonna come down just on the other side of that line by design because I want it, because it's at an angle, it's gonna uh, hit the bottom at 15 degrees. Anyway, so I'm gonna make one pass uh, this way, there and back. I'm going to take the piece out of the vise, flip it 180 degrees, make another pass. Then I'm going to flip the piece right over, make another pass. Flip that around 180 degrees and make a fourth pass. So I'll set you up on the camera so you can see this happening. Second pass.
All right, little uh, first experiment. Kind of, sort of worked. Kind of, sort of didn't. Um, on it appears that the piece when it's sitting in there is not perfectly flat. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more work of leveling that up um, in comparison to the router bit. So get that set. And uh, I think to find a better way uh, to mount that in the, in the vise. So I may actually wind up using a machining trick uh, of using a little round block here that'll hold it up tight against you know, a, a round piece on the moving part of the vise so it goes up flat against the uh, back of the vise. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> first attempt. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Uh, the other thing that I've been able to do, I'm not sure if you can see the grain on that. So the grain of the wood is running the width of this little uh, dovetail domino. Um, so we'll get the most strength out of that. Conceptually, I think this is going to work. I'll do a little bit of fine tuning on this and come back when I have another blank ready. All right, <clears throat> made a couple little revisions to the uh, um, clamping mechanism here. Put a piece of quarter inch round rod, courtesy of John, thanks John. And uh, got it all lined up again. Ready to make another four passes. Let's see what happens. All right, uh, interesting. Have a little bit in the middle here where we seem to have overshot a little bit, but I do have bevels. So I'm <clears throat> gonna be interested to take, give this a shot. Um, what I'll do next is cut some um, uh, bevels in a, uh, a couple sample pieces, and we'll see how this fits. Who knows? Back in a bit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. That little plug is going in there. I didn't drive it all the way in. It's just a test piece. But that is fitting like a glove, a tight glove, nonetheless. I didn't line up these pieces very well when I was cutting the, the slots, the, the dovetails actually. Um, something I <clears throat> wasn't really paying a lot of attention to, but moving forward, yeah, I need to pay a little more attention to that. I'm just going to drive those in a little farther. Let's see what it looks like. That's that joint in flush. Oh yeah, I don't think that's going to come out anytime soon. 
All right. Technique works. So I'll cut uh, three blanks on the arcs uh, for our three pieces that actually I'm going to need uh, five pieces. One, no, I'm going to need more than that. One, two, three, four. I'm going to need six. Six blanks because we got six joints to make, two on each leg. All right, going to go get a bite of lunch, come back, and we'll do that. Okay, I've got a, uh, a bunch of blanks cut. I ran the first one through. Came out very nice. So I'll just show you the operation now that the machine is set and just kind of repeat the operation uh, five times. Probably won't see it all, or I may put it on fast forward, but you'll get the idea. And there we are. We got them all cut. Very happy with the result of that. Now I probably, you know, in thinking about this, it's possible that I could cut that on the table saw. And this is getting to be at a half inch by half inch. That's getting pretty finicky and, and a small piece to put on that machine. So I'm kind of happy to have this. Um, it, it gives me a very precise, consistent cut every time. So. Yeah, I'm happy with it. So, another use for the arcs. So that'll be, that's my video for today. Very short one. Um, proof of concept work. These little uh, dowel dominoes, or bevel, bevel cut dominoes. Dovetail, sorry, let's call them dovetail dominoes. Are going to work very well. Uh, cut these out of maple. So nice hardwood. Uh, test fit was perfect and uh, next we'll next video we'll start doing this uh, making the dovetails on the legs and the uh, face pieces I got to cut the face pieces to length first but that's the next one anyway thanks very much for watching really appreciate it please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video bye for now